guys. Okay, so today's video is going to be a little bit different, but first, oh shoot. All right, first let me just go ahead and state that my skin is very irritated right now. I'm on a new medication and it's, um, it's supposed to react this way, but I've just got to figure out a way to <sighs> not do this to myself, but, um, anyways, I'm just now getting it started. I'm not even a week into it, so it's a little bit irritated, but it'll get better. But today's video is going to be using the Shani Cosmetics, um, mini masterpiece makeup kit. And I bought this for my clients. I work with a photographer now and I do hair and makeup for all of his clients. And so I needed something that would that would um, work for all skin types, everybody out there, all skin tones, all everything, because my makeup just wasn't working. And, you know, I was having to use my own personal makeup on people I didn't even know. And it got real, like, you know, not really like I wanted to do that. And so, so yes, I'm going to be using this today and I'm going to go through, show you step by step. Like when, when I use each one, I'll show you in detail, like which, what, what each one consists okay. of. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the whole kit thing. And I'm just going to begin with the concealer palette and I'm actually going to take the green and take a little bit of it on my finger like that. And I have just a few blemishes I'm going to use or not, not going to use any blemishes. I'm going to conceal a few blemishes and just where I see any redness, well not any redness because I do have a lot, but just my blemish wise, I'm just going to dot this green concealer on top of them. I'm trying to tilt this up. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Then we have the makeup kit and we're going to go ahead and go in and ooh, ooh, this is the foundations. And so you have your really, really light shade over here, your medium light shade over here. Okay. And then you have a nor who the heck is calling my house phone? Okay. And then you have this medium tone and then a darker, 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 you know, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now I'm just going to go ahead and swatch a few. Like here's the dark, you know, like it, it's really, it's super creamy and it's just so worth the money if you are a makeup artist or even if you just want it just to try it like it's awesome. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to mix. <laughs> I flipped it upside down. Okay I'm going to mix this shade right here. Actually I'm probably just going to use this shade. Yeah. And I'm just going to tap this all over my face with a beauty blender. It wor I think it works best with a beauty blender and some people can go in with like a duo fiber, a blah 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 and do a fiber brush or something and that'll That'll work really well. One thing about this um, foundation is that it does not last for a very long time. I would not recommend using this for, you know, an all day event or anything like that. If you have like a huge event to go to, no, this is not the time or place to be using this product. And um, because it, it, it's, it breaks up really easily and it creases bad and it, it makes me look old when I wear it, but you know, if this is like for a photo shoot or for prom pictures or for, you know, just something like really simple or if you just like want to throw something on real fast, like this is so totally worth it. And this is what I use on all my clients and they always love the finish of it. Yeah, I'm taking this lighter shade here and I'm just going to go in and highlight. Okay, now I'm going to go in with these powders. These are the powders that you can contour with, you can highlight with, and or you can set your highlight with. You can use it just an all over face powder, whatever you want to do with it. I'm just going to go ahead and swatch this for you. And then that's about, I'm swatching on my palm. It's not really working. You can't really see it, but it, it's very pigmented. This one doesn't take a lot. Oh, I'm going all the way up. You know, it's just, it just works amazingly and so I'm gonna go in with the white in this banana shade here and I'm just gonna set underneath my eyes Next, I'm gonna contour and I'm gonna use this really dark shade mixed with this one I'm just gonna go like that and like that and then tap off the excess so I'm gonna go with my blush and there's three different blush palettes in here I'm just gonna go ahead and show you all three of them there's this one here and it's for pretty much any skin tone. You can really work with these shades to make them how you want them. This is 
naturally not a blush this and the banana shade you can also use I think they just kind of threw that in there as like an extra highlighting and contouring well, not contouring just highlighting just highlighting thing so they can help you out a little bit because you do kind of run out of it easily and this is for probably medium skin tones um, you know naturally this isn't gonna pop on my skin and just work beautifully and so I'll, I'll definitely use this for medium but I also use this one a lot and I mean several of these you can really pull off on in on anybody and this next one bum bam this is for deeper skin tones but I mean let me just go ahead and show you how just gorgeous they are like you can they are so I mean do you see that like they're just beautiful <sighs> I'm gonna go in with this shade right here lightly tap it and tap a little bit off smell oh my gosh that's so pigmented so that is pretty much the um, finish of this product you can see my, my bumps a little bit but it turns out really nice and beautiful okay and last but not least we have the um, lip palette from Shani. I ordered this because it was, if I spent $50, I think I got free shipping. Yeah. So I spent $55. When I would have spent $55 anyways because shipping was like $14. So, whatevs. Okay, so this is all the different shades you got. And let me tell you, they are amazingly pigmented. Let me just show you. Like... I mean like they just they're beautiful and like here's like a little orangey nude I mean they're just gorgeous and so today I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna see I have my I barely did anything to my eyes really I just kind of like put a little bit of contour shade in some mascara and then I just have my blush on so I'm probably gonna go out on out all out of my lips right now and I'm gonna use a shade that's probably in this shirt so I'm gonna use this really soft pink and I'm just going to kind of dab it on with my finger. I found that's the best application for it. Even though you can't really quite do that to a client. I don't think I dipped it in some one. Crap. I didn't. And I'm actually going to go in with a little bit more vibrant pink. I used this one instead. And I'm just going to, oh, holy moly, that's bright. Okay. Well then. Oh, crap, I got purple in it. Do you see that? Do you see this purple line? Like, what is that? What? How did I do that? How did I get rid of it? I'm just gonna go in with this NYX Gloss in Beige and apply that on it to make me look a little bit more glossy rather than matte. So there you have it. There's my swatch hand. Oh! And then here's my face. And you know, I really, as I said before, I didn't do really much to my eyes, so don't be looking at that. But here's the look of here's the lips. And then here is the blush, the contour, the foundation, the highlight, everything like that. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. And I highly recommend this uh, kit to anybody who is a makeup artist or wants anything to do with makeup. It's like amazing. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you'll have an awesome day. God bless. Oh! I dropped all my brushes. Now like I'm retarded. <laughs> Big summer blowout. Anyways. Look, it almost matches my earrings.